film or digital? For most of us, digital photography is all we know anymore, but you would be mistaken if you thought film was dead. One look at the work of local photographer Richard Margolis and you'll quickly notice a level of detail that's hard to achieve using modern technology. We visited Richard in his Anderson Alley studio to talk about large format film photography. Take a look. I'm deliberately trying to make prints as opposed to pictures. I can't do this with digital photography. Uh, no matter how hard you try, you can't make a black and white print that's this quality come out of a, a digital printer. I can't do this twice. This is a one-of-a-kind print. I do work in editions, usually about five, but they don't match. They can't match because each one is made by hand. Digital prints come out of a mechanical printer uh, controlled by a computer, and you can absolutely repeat them. And that doesn't interest me. This is a handmade print. This is a, uh, an art object. One of the things I like about the process is that I'm using a big camera, 4x5 view camera, it goes on a tripod, it's very slow. I don't make very many photographs in a day, and then I come back and process the film. When I'm printing, um, I'm, I'm using large sheets of paper that have to be handled a lot in the dark room when they're wet. I really like this. I, I like this process. I like having uh, a print this size. You can see it, a couple people can look at it at the same time. It's not a little precious thing you hold in your hands, it's intended to go on the wall and to be exhibited. It's, it's a magical process. I'm going to tear the edges off and the edges are going to be ragged and, and I like that a lot. Uh, I, I want people looking at it to know that, um, that, that it's an object of art. I had a school group in here, and this little girl asked me why I work in black and white, and I asked her what she thought. And, and she said, well, your prints are a lot more colorful. And that just knocked me out. And I think what she meant by that is that they let you imagine what it's like. For more information about Richard and his work, visit his website, richardmargolis.com.